This one is going to be done with the method of reference triangle, and we're going to evaluate exactly sine of 5 pi over 3. So 5 pi over 3 is in the fourth quadrant. Uh, remember, the 3 in the bottom tells you you're going to cut the top into three equal pieces and the bottom into three equal pieces, so that would be a 6 for a full turn. And we're just going to back off 1 to 5. Um, since this is going to be a reference triangle, I'm still going to find the reference angle. And the reference angle of 5 pi over 3 is pi over 3, because we backed off 1 pi over 3. And since we're going to be doing a reference triangle, I'm going to uh, just choose any point on this terminal side and draw an altitude back to the x-axis. always has to go towards the x-axis. So if this is an altitude, that little uh, intersection is going to be a right angle. All right, so we have a right triangle here. This angle here is pi over 3. So this angle down here must be pi over uh, 6. And this is a special triangle. So all we need to do is label the sides correctly. Um, if it's a 30, 60, 90 triangle, then the largest side is going to be 2. The smallest side is going to be 1. And this one here, is, I'm just going to label it really special. It is square root of 3, but it's going down, so it's going to be negative. Now the only ones that are going to change signs are the legs uh, with this method. The um, hypotenuse is the radius of a circle, so it's always going to stay positive. Uh, and this works pretty well. So what happens here is I'm incorporating the signs into the triangle and the special triangle in the right location. So it's kind of combining all the information into one picture. So when I evaluate this, it's actually kind of easy. I don't have to change anything. It's going to be the sine, fi uh, sine of 5 pi over 3 is going to equal, well sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So opposite of this is negative square roots of 3. The hypotenuse is 2. So I'm going to get negative square roots of 3 over 2. And that's our answer. All right, if we try it with um, a negative angle, for instance, uh, secant of negative pi over 4. Remember, negative angles go uh, clockwise. Uh, again, we're going to draw a uh, reference triangle, so I'm just going to choose any point on the terminal side and draw an altitude back towards the x-axis, or down to the x-axis, depending on what quadrant you're in. Uh, and then label the sides of the triangle appropriately. Um, this is a reference angle of pi over 4. Since it went down pi over 4, it sure is pi over 4. Uh, this is also pi over 4. Therefore, the sides are going to be 1, 1, square root of 2. And then put the signs in. This is going to be a positive 1. This one is going to be negative 1. So when I find the secant, remember secant of any angle is equal to... 1 over the cosine of that angle, the reciprocal of the answer. So cosine is normally adjacent over hypotenuse, so this one is going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. So in this picture, the hypotenuse is square root of 2, the adjacent is uh, 1. So the final answer is just going to be square root of 2. So the secant of negative pi over 4 is equal to positive square roots of 2. And that's it.